guys welcome back again to the channel so guys i just made this design for my customer a circular ruffles as you can see it's very beautiful so i thought of you know show you guys how to achieve this if you are interested so if you are new to the channel you are welcome i'm chisom ene feel free to subscribe to join the family and turn on the notification bell for more videos thank you so much Please give this video a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up so that every other person can see it and watch. So for these ruffles, these are the basic materials for it. Um, I'll be making use of doll face satin, um, paper gum. This is optional. If you are using a thick satin, then there's no need attaching a fusible interfacing. And I have my hemming gum and of course my no line so guys let's get started I'm going to measure 14 14 by 14 14 by 14 that's what I need so I'm going to cut Let me trim off this. So, you know, it's going to be two, two pieces. So, I'll use it to cut the second one like this. cutting it out the next thing is to fold it and cut it the same way you cut your circle sleeve after folding i'm going to come here and measure seven and you know seven represents 14 so i will measure seven because this side is seven like i said 14 14 divided by two is seven so this is seven and this is seven so that i will make a circle so i'm going to connect to make a circle so i'm going to cut this one off i hope you understand what i did i measured 14 by 14 do you get 14 by 14 and there are two pieces and the next thing i did was to fold it into two like this and fold it into four do you understand after that i'll measure seven seven all round i'll measure seven all round to get a circle and this is just what i did and yeah i'm going to cut i'll trim it off Whatever measurement you use, divide it by 2. If you use, if you cut out 12 by 12, then 12 divide by 2. Then you measure 6 all round. That's just that. So whatever number you decided to cut out, you divide it by 2, fold it into 4, and use it to measure it all round. It's as simple as that. So after cutting, we have our circle. Can you see? We have our circle now. So, the next thing I'm going to do is to attach my interfacing, my fusible interfacing. Like I said, it's optional though. It's optional. If you don't want to attach the interfacing, then there's no problem with that. So, I'm going to attach it now with my pressing iron. So guys, after attaching the interfacing, this is what I have. Remember, you are going to attach the interfacing at the wrong side. So this is the wrong side, this is the wrong side. And this is the right side of the door face. Do you understand? So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to pin it together. I'm going to pin it so that it won't move while sewing it. So I'm done. Pinning. 
pinning it together so that when I'm sewing it on my machine, it will not shift. The next thing is to attach the crino line. So I'm going to place it like this. I'm going to leave 0 0.25 inch allowance here. And so I'll sew on the crino line. Okay. I'll be stitching at the edge, the edge of the crino line. Okay. Don't sew in allowance on the crino line. Do you understand? Just sew at the tip, the tip of it. So I'm going to place it like this and stitch all round and I'll be right back. So guys, after stitching, this is how it looks. In case you don't know how to stitch it, I'll leave the, the stitching part of the video on the screen for you to understand better, okay? So, I'm going to remove my pin now. In case you want to know how many inches of crinoline that I use, this is 3 inches crinoline. You can use 2 inches and you can also use 1 inch, depending on how wide your ruffles or the circle is. Do you understand? So I'm using 3 inches because my own is very wide, as you can see. So after this, the next step is to apply the hemming gum i'll use the hemming gum to stick it together on the fabric so i'm going to measure i'll place it to measure the quantity i will need so i'll just round it on the circle So this is what I need. I'm going to triple it. I'll triple the length. This is double, double of the length. And I'll measure it times three. So that it will hold it very well. If you like, you can make it four. So that it will hold it very well. So after that, I'm going to use this hemming gum to stick it together so guys just look very closely you will see what i'm doing once i place the hemming gum inside i'm going to press it down I'll press it down like this. Can you see? I will arrange the hemming gum. So I will arrange the hemming gum inside and press the crinoline line inside before I use my iron. Make sure it's not too hot. Too, too, too hot. If not, the crinoline line might burn. So I'm going to iron it. And please use a steam iron for this process. So I'll iron it down like this. I'll arrange the hemming gum and iron it.
So just take your time to do this. It's not hard at all. this process make sure you use a steam iron to do it okay so that your crinoline will not get burnt so can you see how I stitch the crinoline I stitch it at the very tip of the crinoline can you see so don't leave allowance so that by the time you turn it it will not drag the edges do you understand I'll open a spade, just separate the two. Separate the two like this. We're going to cut open at the center here. Don't cut it too much. Just cut it so that you can turn it. It will be easy for you to turn. So I'll cut something like this. So with this, we'll be able to turn it. So after cutting, the next thing is to turn to the right side. So this is the reason why you need to stitch at the very edge of the crino line so that by the time you turn it will not drag this side inward the whole thing will blend as in this edge will relax very well without any stress do you understand so after i turn to the right side this is what i have so guys the next step is to fold fold the circle like this You can fold either way. If you like, you fold like this or you fold like this. Any one is okay. So I'll just fold like this. Then after folding, I'm going to fold again like this. Can you see? So if you like, you fold again. You fold again. So after folding it into four like this, I'm going to still fold it. You can stop here, but I'm going to fold it again like this and stitch. So I'll go over to the machine now to stitch this point. So guys, I'm done stitching. As you can see and this is the ruffles looking so beautiful you can make just two of this and use it to design your clothes so like I said I'm going to attach this one here I'll just place it. I've not stitched any of them. I just use pin to hold it. So I'm just going to place it like this at this point. And yeah, I'll use my pin to hold it in place. I'll be using needle and thread to fix it, not machine. You understand? So I'll just pin it there. must not arrange your own like this if you like you can just you know arrange it at a, at one side of the sleeve and it will come out fine or at the two sides of the sleeve it will also look fine so however you want to arrange your own it's just your preference it's just how you like it so this is it and if you don't want your own to be as big as my own just reduce it 
remember i did 14 by 14 you can do 12 by 12 or 10 by 12 or, or 10 by 10 but if your own is going to be small the circle is going to be smaller than mine then consider the crinoline. line your crinoline line should be smaller too like i said i made use of three inches crinoline. line you can do yours two inches or even one inch depending on how wide the circle is do you understand feel free to do what you want be creative and just get it done so before i sign out please if you are still interested in our fabric bell materials i'll leave my whatsapp number in the comment section please just send me a message let's discuss okay um it's very very beautiful the bell materials are very beautiful so if you want to start a ready to wear business or you want to sell you want to cut by yardage and sell just send me a message and let's do business okay thank you so much so guys thank you so much for watching till next time i'll see you again for now it is bye bye